Let's learn English. Hello children, I am Chandrika Peris. Today I am going to help you to make some sentences in passive voice. Ogolu hitana wane active voice, passive voice amaru yela. Manga the ogolanda lazy kramia kela denna hadani. Kuma the active voice sentences, passive voice solta haravani kela. Hundai. Let's learn English. Active and passive voice. Today let's learn active and passive voice sentences. Let's look at this sentence. I eat a mango. That is an active voice sentence. I eat a mango. Mama, amba kano. When we look at this sentence, I is the subject. Ne the kriyava karani me vake I. Doer. Doer is I. Eat is the verb. Eat. Kano ekatamai kriyapade. Eat is the verb. A mango. A mango is the Object S V O the Kotabiwakeka subject verb object in Greece the sentence pattern Nikapikino S V O subject verb object Dua then verb then object Now, let's turn this sentence into passive voice. But before that, let's learn these verbs. First, let's learn helping verbs or be verbs. Abhi helping verbs ke lap ke no, be verbs ke lap ke no. Present tense, past tense, future tense. Vartamana kali be verbs, himnatta helping verbs tamai am, is a past tense atita kale was am then past tense of am was is past tense was a past tense were future tense anagata kale gatto am future tense is will be is future tense is will be a future tense will be. Now let's learn some verbs. They are useful to make sentences. Present, present tense, past tense, and then past participle form. Present form, past form, past participle. Eat. If you do not know the meaning, you can learn the meaning. Eat. Kano. Past tense. Ate. Past participle. Eaten. Drink. Bono. Past tense. Drank. Past participle. Drunk. Present tense. Write. Leno. Past tense wrote. Past participle written. See. Dakino. Past tense saw. Past participle seen. Read. Kevano. Past tense read. Past participle, read. Here, present tense, past tense and past participle, spellings, they are same. 
නේද අපි දකිනවා ස්පෙලින්ස් මේ තුනේම එකමයි හැබැයි අපි ප්‍රසන්ට් ටෙන්ස් වලදී we pronounce as read past tense as read past participle as read 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 take ganna past tense took past participle taken give denawa past tense gave past participle given watch balano naramano api tv balano kiyanne watch past tense watched past participle watched api eke di api ed thamai add karala thiyenne we have add added the ed do karano we do homework homework api karano kiyanna do past tense did past participle done worship vandinawa worshiped when the worshiped we added ED worshipped worshipped let's read them again read with me eat ate eaten drink drank drunk write wrote written see so seen read 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 take took taken give gave given watch watched watched do did done worship worshiped worshiped Now let's learn these pronouns. When we turn the active voice sentences into passive voice, we need these pronouns, especially object pronouns. But when we make a sentence, we need subject pronouns. වාක්‍යයක් හදනකොට අපිට නේද subject එක හැටියට උක්තේ හැටියට තියන්න උදව් කරන්නේ subject pronouns object pronouns apita karmaya hatiyata paavichcha ganna kota udaw wenawa let's learn the subject pronouns and object pronouns i mum object pronoun me maava mata we api object pronoun us apiva apava apata you oba you obava obata then uh, singular form and plural form they are same bahuvachana waltat ekavachana waltat you කියන පදේ එකමයි ඔබ you he ඔහු him ඔහුට ඔහුව she ඇය ha ඇයට ඇයව it u අපි බල්ලෙක් ගැන සතෙක් ගැන කතා කරනකොට it it u u ta ek panne thi deyak gena katha karana kota de ohu 
them own verb owned. Let's read these subject pronouns and object pronouns again. Read with me. Subject pronoun, object pronouns. I, me, we, us, you, you, he, him, she, her, it, it, they, them. Now we are going to turn the active voice sentences into passive voice sentence. Let's look at the example. I eat a mango. This is an active voice sentence. I subject eat verb a mango object. Before turn this sentence into passive voice, we have to think about the tense and the number of this sentence. I eat a mango. When we find the tense, we have to look at the verb. Present tense, the past tense, the future tense, the kela, monakale, taiti di kila balagan pulang vinya pita, me kriya pade diha balala. What is the verb here? Eat. Eat is a present tense verb. Can you remember? Last time we learned the present tense verb form, past tense verb form, and past participle verb form. There we see eat is the present tense. Then number. Number means here a mango. Make a eka vachanada, bahu vachanada. Singular or plural. After finding those things, we are going to turn this into passive voice. Singular plural. Then a mango. Then my active voice, passive voice, single lady Minisa एक passive voice के लगी आने इतु कुट a mango अभी mango के ने का object ने का we take the object to the front a mango is eaten अभी eat के ने के third verb form में का क्या ने past participle form is used here eaten can you remember? Eat, eat, eaten. Third verb form. Eat. Eaten. Eto kutta api dhannuwa. Make a singular keela. A mango. Mango, singular. Eka nisa api ala be verbs, helping verbs keela api gana gatte. Present tense wala. Neither. Be verb keela api gatte. Is, am, aki. Eto kutta mithani a mango is present tense. A mango kinika uh, singular ekanisa pamukadakani is kiladagano. Is eaten. A mango. It's plural, uh, not a plural noun, it's a singular noun. Therefore, we use the helping verb is. Then past participle form of eat. That is eaten. Is eaten by me. Mithini I kill the bit check up Makatakale. May I ki and a subject pronoun. I is the subject pronoun. Me is the object pronoun of I. 
එතකොට අපි මොකද කරන්නේ විසින් කියලා අපි කියන පදේ එන්න තමයි වගේ අපි බයි දාගන්නේ බයි me a mango is eaten by me i eat a mango active voice a mango is eaten by me passive voice svo now ovs like that pattern is here now look at this sentence i eat mangoes in this sentence i subject eat verb it is present tense mangoes object that is plural eka bahu wachane issala sentence ekey a mango eka wachana meke mangoes godak gena katha karanawa amba active voice tense and number we have to think about then eat present tense mangoes plural form then let's look at the sentence example mango mangoes mangoes it is plural therefore we use the helping verb a a then eat as it is present tense eat ate eaten third verb form or past participle of eat are eaten by me i eat a mango a mango is eaten by me i eat mangoes mangoes are eaten by me mama ambeyak kanu ambeyak ma visin kanu lebe i eat mangoes mama amba kanu amba ma visin kanu lebe em natta ma visin amba kanu lebe passive voice i eat a mango a mango is eaten by me i eat mangoes mangoes are eaten by me i think it is very easy if you look at the way of making these sentences now let's do these activities turn these active voice sentences into passive voice they are very easy sentences you can understand very easily then go through the examples and try to turn these active voice sentences into passive voice i eat a bun i eat buns i drink a cup of tea i drink two cups of tea i write a sentence i write sentences i see you i read a book i read books i take your pen i take your pens i do homework turn these sentences into passive voice sentences 